Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my review and final opinion on the 4K Ultimate Gaming PC. So let's start by taking a look at the Antec 1900 case. Now you will have seen a separate video on this, but now it's looking really quite different with all of the components inside. A couple of things to cover off on this case is with the side panel in place, it's really nice because it only shows the main components being the graphics cards and the main sort of portion of the motherboard. I think it just does a really nice job of making everything look really tidy. So as you can see, the actual build is very tidy indeed and the cable management offered up by the Antec case is really good. The couple of bits that we picked up on that are negatives for the case are to do with airflow. Now we've got the liquid cooling for the CPU at the top We've also got some front fans here, but that's pulling heat across the hard drives, which are obviously heat generators. And then we've also got the PSU down here, which is also another heat generator. So not a lot of cool air is actually reaching the graphics cards. So one of the solutions to this would be to have a side mounted fan on that side panel that I've just removed. But overall, the case is really good. It's got plenty of room for all your hard drives and components. So a really good, overall choice if you're building a high-end case. So one of the components you can't see at the moment is the CPU, which is just underneath this Antec cooler. It's an Intel Core i7-4970K, which is a great choice for high-end gaming. And that's installed onto the motherboard, the ASUS Sabertooth Z97 Mark I. Really nice design motherboard as well, looks really tidy. And installation was an absolute breeze. Now, out of the box, we updated the BIOS on the motherboard, which everyone should do as a matter of course. And setting this up to work in harmony with the ASUS branded graphics cards is a really good feature as well, because it can actually control, for example, the fan speed on the GPUs. Now we move nicely on to the ASUS graphics cards, and you can see we've got two in here. These are both Radeon R9 290X, the Direct CU2 OC model of the graphics cards. And these are actually installed and set up in a crossfire configuration. Overall performance is awesome, very high frame rates on all the latest games with maxed out settings. Moving on to the power supply, this is an Antec HCP 1300 Platinum Modular PSU, 1300 watts of continuous power. Now it's a very neat solution because you're only using the cables you need in the build and all of the cables are braided in black. So especially in this case, which is obviously got black powder coating on the inside, it looks really very, very neat. But one of the big issues that we had was that this case, which is also an Antec case, has an extra space down the bottom here where you can install the power supply. And that would have been a better option because this generates heat. So having it in this bottom section would have been a preference but the cables weren't long enough to reach up to the motherboard. So maybe Antec can look at that. Maybe they can actually include a longer cable with future generations of this PSU. Moving on, you can see that we've got all of the banks of memory populated here. And this is with the Crucial Ballistic Sport XT, 32 gigabytes of RAM. It looks the part and performs extremely well, but it does get hot. However, that hasn't caused us any problems. There's been no issues at all with the RAM. Now we've also got an additional fan in here and that's just uh, located on the back panel. This is the Antec True Quiet Pro 120 fan and it runs very quiet in operation, almost silent in fact. And I mentioned when I was introducing you to the components in this build that if this ran as expected, I would replace the other fans in the case with this particular model. And that is a plan in the future. I'm gonna swap out the front fans and maybe add on this side fan and I will select this Antec True Quiet Pro as the replacement component. We've also got a couple of hard drives in here, just down in this bottom section. We've got two four terabyte Western Digital black drives for performance. They're in a RAID striped configuration for maximum data throughput, and they're performing really well. And then other storage components here, we've got a couple of three terabyte Western Digital drives. We've also got a Samsung one terabyte solid state drive. And that solid state drive is used primarily just for the sort of operating system and game installations. Now to keep this CPU nice and cool, we have installed the Antec Cooler 1250 liquid CPU cooler. It's nice and easy to install in this top section here. It performs well and keeps the CPU very, very cool. It's also got a nice color function, 
where the colors actually react to the CPU temperature, blue for cold, red for hot, and you can change the thresholds for this within the software. However, the noise could be better. The fans and pump on this particular model do make a rather irritating noise. So we're gonna maybe look at improving that in a future revision of this build. Now we did also have four extra sort of companion products that we're using with this particular gaming PC. The first of which was the ASUS PB287Q 4K monitor. It certainly looks the part, it runs smoothly, and you'll see some benchmarking results on your screen as I'm speaking. Graphics on this particular monitor are pin sharp and really points towards the future being 4K gaming if you have a system capable of running at those resolutions, of course. We also use the Logitech G502 Proteus Core tunable gaming mouse. It's an amazing mouse, very comfortable and ergonomic with great tracking. The Rocat Rios MK Pro mechanical gaming keyboard, a superb choice, excellent key travel, spacing and response, plus all the extra features that make it a great choice for a gaming keyboard. And last but not least, the Rocat Cave XTD 5.1 digital gaming headset, for private gaming where you don't want to disturb others around you, these really do deliver amazing sound. So in summary, the build of this 4K gaming rig went very smoothly indeed. The only real issue was the length of that cable on the power supply. Now the Crossfire configuration on the graphics card is very good indeed. You get a, a very quiet performance system because it only uses one card when you're accessing the desktop and the second card really only kicks in when you need it, when you fire up a game. The Antec cooler, the liquid CPU cooler, unfortunately is the weakest part of the system because it is quite noisy and irritating, but we can deal with that in a future revision. So, this is the ultimate 4K gaming rig. It really does deliver amazing performance and really does show you that 4K gaming is a very immersive experience. So thanks very much for watching this particular series of videos. If you wanna check out the other videos in the series, there is a link in the video description. Please do check them all out because it gives you a more in-depth look at all of the components. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>